Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft 365. In this video, we'll be looking at uh, Microsoft Azure Active Directory password lockout policy and how to change the default settings. So by default, the password uh, threshold is, uh, or lockout threshold is set to 10. So this means after a user enters the incorrect password 10 times, their account will be locked. And the default lockout duration is 60 seconds. So every time they enter their password incorrectly 10 times, it will be locked for one minute. So depending on your security requirements or governance within your organization, you may want to make this more strict so that uh, users can only enter incorrect password three times. And uh, once it's been locked, it needs to be locked for one hour. It's also important to mention that uh, if you have a synchronization with your on-premise Active Directory using Azure AD Connect, then um, the, only the uh, cloud accounts will be uh, governed by this policy. All the AD accounts that are coming from your on-premise will be uh, governed by what is set on Active Directory on-premise. Okay, so to go into the settings and change them, you need to log into your portal.azure.com. And from the portal azure.com, you need to go to your Active Directory. If you click on View, it will take you to the overview of your Active Directory. And you can scroll down to the bottom where it says Security. And under Security, you'll have um, your authentication methods. Under authentication methods, you'll have authentication method policy and password protection. So in password protection, you can see you have your password lockout threshold, which is currently set to 10. You may want to set this to three and uh, your lockout duration to 120, which would make this uh, one uh, two minutes. So if I enter my password incorrectly three times, my account will be locked for three minutes. Let's click on save. And you'll see over here, you'll have your, your message that pops up. Additionally, other settings that you have for your password protection, you can enforce a banned list. So if you don't want users to create uh, passwords such as 1234, then uh, you can enter that. You can enable yes. And over here, you can see uh, the list that you can enter. It gives you some information on what you can enter, the, the limit of the, the words that you can enter. But as this is my development environment, I'm going to set that to no. Additionally, you also have password protection for Windows Server Active Directory. This is default set to yes. Uh, however, you do need an agent installed on your client. Um, you can also have the two modes set, so enforce or audit. Uh, I will leave mine on audit. So if a user enters a, a banned password or password they should not uh, um, enter, it will either lock the account or just log it to the audit log. I will leave this on audit, uh, but you can play around and change that if you want it. So to recap over here, we, the default th lockout threshold, which is the amount of attempts that the user can enter, is set to 10. I will put this back to 10. And uh, the period that the account will be locked is defaulted to 60 seconds, so one minute. I'll leave that on the default as this is a development environment and I'll be doing a lot of changes. I might want to incorrectly enter a password for whatever reason, but I don't want to always reset it as I'll be doing tests on this environment. But these settings are up to you and you can set it according to your company requirements.